one of the most important organs of an angiosperm is the flower. A complete flower has four worlds, calyx, corolla, andresium, and gynesium. All these worlds originate from the receptacle. In many flowers, members of one or more worlds are to some degree united with one another. Such cases can be described as the union of floral parts. For the ease of understanding, various kinds of unions of the floral parts can be divided into two broad categories, conation and adnation. First one is conation. The union of parts of the same world is termed as conation. If the petals in corolla are united, it is an example of conation. The word conation originated from an old Latin word conatus, meaning born together or born at the same time. The second one is adnation. Adnation refers to the union of flower parts from two different worlds. For example, union of stamens and petals. The word adnate originated from the Latin word adnatus, meaning to grow upon. Let us see the various kinds of conations exhibited by flowers. See the calyx of this flower. In this calyx, the sepals are united. This is an example of conation. And the condition is called as gamosepalus or synsepalus condition. But see this flower. In this flower, the sepals are not united as in the former case. That means in this flower there is no connection of sepals. This condition is known as polysepalus or aposepalus condition. Connection can be seen in the corolla also. See the corolla of this flower. Here the petals are fused. Only the distal ends of the petals are free. The other parts of the petals are united to form a corolla tube. This condition is known as synpetalus or gamopetalus condition. In this flower, the petals are almost fully free, but their bases are fused. Or we can say that the petals are basally connate. If the petals are fully free, as in this flower, the condition is known as apopetalus or polypetalus condition. Remember, in a flower with polypetalous condition, there is no connection of petals in the corolla. In this flower, the stamens are distinct, that means unfused to one another, and free, means unfused to a different structure. This condition is called as a posteminous condition. But see the antrasium of this flower. This tube-like structure is formed from the fusion of the filaments of the large number of stamens in the antrasium. This is also an example of conation. If the filaments of all the stamens connect to form a single tube, the condition is known as monadelphous condition. Here in this flower, 
the antrisham contains 10 stamens out of the 10 stamens 9 are fused to form a bundle and one stamen is free we call this condition as diadelphous condition in this flower there are a number of stamens. The filaments connect to form several distinct bundles. And this condition is called as polyadelphous condition. This is another interesting example of connection. Here, the anthers of all the stamens are united, but the filaments are free. This condition is called syngenaceous condition in this flower stamens fuse completely through filaments as well as anthers this is also a fitting example of connection and this condition is called as synandrous condition connection can be seen in the gynesium also as you know carpels are the units of gynesium in some flowers Carpels are free. See the gynesium of this flower. These are the carpels. And as you can see, they are free. This condition is known as apocarpus condition. See the gynesium of this flower. Here also, the carpels are free. Let us examine the gynesium of this flower. See the ovary, style, and stigma. There are no free carpels. If you take a cross section of the ovary, we can see the individual carpels. See, there are five chambers representing the ovary parts of five carpels. As you can see, the chambers are fused. If the carpels in a flower are fused, the condition is called syncarpus condition. In this flower, even though the carpels are fused or connate, they are not 100% fused. See here, the stigma portion of the carpels are free. A syncarpus condition where the stigmas are free is called synstylovarious condition. See the gynesium of this flower. Here the style and stigma are free and only the ovaries of the carpels are fused. Such a condition is referred to as synovarious condition. In this flower, Stigma and style portions of the carpels are fused, but the ovary portions are free. We can use the terms subapocarpus to denote this condition. The second type of union is adnation. As I described in the beginning, adnation refers to the union of floral parts from two different worlds. Let us see the different kinds of adnation seen in flowers. In this plant, the stamens seem originating from the petal. In fact, a major portion of the filament is fused with the petal and the stamens appear to be originating from the petal. The adnation of stamens with petal is called epipetalous condition. Flowers with gamma petalous corolla usually have epipetalous stamens. Based on the type of attachment of the stamens to the corolla, there are two conditions possible. In this flower with a well-developed corolla tube, the stamens can be seen protruding beyond the corolla. And the stamens are said to be exerted or phanerandrous stamens. But in this flower, the stamens are hidden in the corolla tube. 
and they are called as inserted or cryptanthrous stamens. This flower shows another type of adnation. Here the anthers are fused with the stigmatic region of the gynecium. The fusion product in this case is called gynostegium. See this flower. Here the stamens and carpels are fused. The fusion product is known as gynostemium. 